Howdy! Welcome to Aspire Mount Academy. I'm Professor Curtis, your instructor for this course in Introductory Statistics. In less than 10 minutes, this video explores the statistical concept of correlation. Let's get started. To start, let's review with what we learned in previous mini lectures about scatter plots, because scatter plots are instrumental in evaluating correlation. You should recall that scatter plots simply plot paired data on a horizontal and vertical axis. So you've got ordered pairs of x and y coordinates, and you basically plot your data. Now, scatter plots can reveal potential relationships between two variables, and that is what correlation is all about quantifying the potential for a relationship between two or more variables. Now, this graph shows a series of data points that exhibit a trend when plotted on a scatter plot. So we could say there is a potential relationship between number of users and the amount of memory that they use. However, this graph shows what I call the shotgun effect because there's no discernible pattern to the data points on the scatter plot. It looks like someone fired a shotgun against the wall. So based on this information, we would say there's not likely a relationship between quality and price. Now, as I mentioned just a moment ago, Correlation quantifies the potential for a relationship between two or more variables. So, correlation between two variables simply means that the values of one variable are somehow associated with the values of the other variable. Keep in mind what we've said repeatedly before. Correlation is not causation. Just because there's an association or relationship between two variables, it doesn't mean that one causes the other. Correlation is not causation. Now, there are many different types of correlations that follow different types of equations in mathematics. The simplest type of equation has two variables and represents a straight line. So, a correlation that corresponds with a straight line is what we call a linear correlation. And what that means is that our two variables are associated such that the plotted points of paired data result in a pattern that can be approximated by a straight line. Let's look at an example here to illustrate. Suppose we're investigating what relationship might exist between weight and pulse rate. So the first thing we do is look at a scatter plot. Now, correlated variables will form a pattern on your scatter plot. This is why the first thing you do when looking to evaluate correlation between two variables is make a scatter plot because you can look at it and quickly assess whether you're seeing a pattern that would indicate a relationship. So, Looking at the scatter plot here of the data these researchers collected, what would you say? Does it look like there is a potential relationship here? I'll give you a moment to make your response. Well, there is no discernible pattern here, just a blob of sorts in the middle of your scatter plot. And this is what I call the shotgun effect because of its appearance. Okay, so the lack of any distinct pattern suggests we don't have a correlation between weight and pulse rate, meaning there's no real relationship between these variables. When you think about it, that makes sense. There's people of all different types of weight that have all different types of pulse rates, so we wouldn't expect a relationship between those two variables. Here's another example, waist and arm circumferences. Here we have our scatter plot of the data researchers collected from study participants. I won't call them experimental units like some statisticians do. I mean, that's just too creepy for me. So, what do you think about the potential for a correlation between these variables? Does the scatter plot suggest there may be a relationship here? Again, I'll give you a moment to respond. Well, here we do see a more distinctive pattern of the plotted points. I mean, not exactly what you would call a straight line because it looks more like the data are staying within a band or range. But that band or range follows more or less a straight line pattern. So we would take a look at this and say, yeah, there probably is some association between these variables and so it's worth investigating further. Now, how do we measure the strength of that correlation? Well, that is, as they would say in the Emerald City from the Wizard of Oz, a horse of a different color. 
Now, please tell me, please tell me you've seen The Wizard of Oz. Don't tell me you've never seen it, okay? Your education really is deficient if you've never seen this classic piece of American cinema. In fact, I would venture further and say not seeing this movie is potentially un-American. There's no exhuming McCarthy here. This is just a classic film that has profoundly influenced American popular cinema. Okay, new homework assignment for those who haven't seen this movie. Your assignment is to watch this movie. Yeah, I know it's ancient, black and white, not much of the special effects. I mean, they look like, you know, tawdry by today's CGI standards. But as I just pointed out, this classic has influenced American popular culture so profoundly that your education really is deficient if you've never seen this film. Plus, it's just a good movie with lots of great songs that are fun to sing. And then there's the classic bits of dialogue like, I'm melting, melting. <laughs> so, even if you don't like musicals, you're really going to love The Wizard of Oz. Seriously, go check it out if you haven't watched it. And that brings us to the end of this mini-lecture. I hope you found it helpful. You can find more mini-lectures for this and other courses at AspireMountainAcademy.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.